Hey fellers, welcome to the ultimate guide to undead legends. In this video, we will cover everything in the update. To find what you need, use the chapters included in the video. Before we continue, make sure to get the extractor from the church. It is necessary to complete the whole event. No more dilly dally, let's get straight into it. Dr. Lazarus is a mad scientist who wants to use his machine to harness raw lightning to bring back Elizabeth who had died. You will need to bring him two T-Logs to help him start his machine. Once you give the T-Logs, follow him. A cutscene will now play. You'll need to give 50 vows to the pastor. You will need to kill zombies and extract their lightning. Give the pastor vials by holding F near. Once you give the pastor 50 vials, he will turn off the machine and stop Dr. Lazarus. You will receive the mad scientist outfit and the model free lightning. The Wendigo is a cult classic of the Halloween event. It comes back every year since it was introduced. The rewards of killing a Wendigo are Wendigo ribs, Wendigo holsters, and the Wendigo mask hat. The Wendigo mask hat has a 10% chance of spawning. If the night is over and you haven't killed the Wendigo, it will despawn and not drop loot. Jane says Wendigos are around these parts, which means it can spawn anywhere. You can very easily kill the Wendigo by cheesing the AI. The easiest way is to get behind a fence. Whenever it teleports to you, jump to the other side of the fence. You can do the same thing with slopes, but it's much less consistent. If you are in silver time, you can shoot under the stairs stopping the Wendigo from hitting you. You will need a bear, bison, and deer blood vial. You will need to kill and extract the blood from the bison, bear, and deer. You will need to drop the vials into the reservation camp lake. This will only work at night and if you're alone. However, when it spawns, your friends can come back to help you. The skin crawler is very similar to the Wendigo with a few differences. She can attack you while you're ragdoll. She does not have a teleport, but instead pulls you towards her and ragdolls you. If it gets too close to morning, the skinwalker will despawn and you won't get the reward. From killing the skinwalker, you can trade in the skinwalker bone for skinwalker bow, and the skinwalker jaw for the skinwalker spear, and the skinwalker skull for two cosmetics. You are in Silver Town, you can shoot from under the stairs stopping the skinwalker from hitting you. You can also hide behind a rock or get a good angle, but that's harder. Jane is a demon hunter who wants to avenge her partner who died to the Wendigo. If you give Jane Wendigo ribs, you will receive a demon hunter outfit and oculate meal. If you kill Jane, you will get an oculate sawed off and maybe an oculate blade, but there's a low chance. Tip, she's easier to kill from a distance since she has a shotgun. The first lady is not a cult classic, but the leader of a cult. If you kill the first lady, you'll get a lightning reserve bow and the cultist outfit. Get on a rock by tribal village, they can't shoot you from up there as easily. 
The bow lets an infinite amount of people grab it, so you can bring as many people as you want. The Marauder is an outlaw who killed the scientist's daughter, leading him to create the machine that started the zombies. If you kill the Marauder, you have a 20% chance of getting the Marauder's mask. Tip, get on top of the train tracks. The Trapper, Mayor Colburn, and Zachariah only drop the Flood Lantern which all named zombies have a chance to drop. However, Hector and Carter have unique drops. Carter can drop an Oculate Blade on death, with a higher chance than Jane. Defeating Carter guarantees the Demon Hunter outfit, but you can get that by giving Jane Wendigo ribs just as easily. Hector is the zombie you really want to look out for. You can get three unique rewards. The spooky sombrero, spooky mask, and pants and shirt. Only the pants and shirt are guaranteed. Once you unlock all of them, you can gain access to the full outfit. Normal zombies have a chance of dropping the zombie hunter hat. It took a long time to create this video, so thank you for watching my guide. Big thank you to Jack Frost, he helped me make this video so I could get out as soon as possible. Make sure to check out his channel. Bye fellas.